Okay, so we're ready to start sealing our panels now. Uh, as I said before, you have to let the glue sit overnight, I recommend. And then you have this hot plate here um, with your double boiler. And you let the, uh, put the glue on it, let the glue uh, melt, and it'll take, uh, you know, it takes about a half an hour. I put it on about 150 degrees. You don't want the glue to boil or that'll break down the glue and it'll be ruined. So once it gets to this consistency and all of the granules are melted and broken up, you can start to seal your panels. You want to seal both sides and you want to do the sides as well. And a way to tell if your glue is the right consistency is you can take a you can take a stick or the end of a paintbrush and just dip it in, and if it flows right off, it's the right consistency. If it comes out and it's like a maple syrup, it's uh, too thick, and you'll have to add some more water to it. So just load up your brush. Just apply it. And it doesn't really matter what direction you go. This stuff sets up pretty quickly, so you don't want to keep going over an area. Uh, if you hit a dry area, it might reactivate the glue and it might start lumping up on it. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, put our uh, material over our panel. So what you want to do, uh, there's two ways you can do this. Um, you want to cut it so it's at least an inch longer and wider than the panel. And what you can do is once the glue has dried on the panel, you can take a really sharp blade and you can cut it all off around the side and then go to start gessoing the panel. Or what I do is I cut it a little bit longer so I can actually pull it around the back and I will staple it to the back of the panel. And uh, I just, you know, it's just something I started doing um, to, uh, to, to, to pull the, the material a little bit tighter while the glue is drying. And another way you can do this is some people take their material and they'll actually put it right in the rabbit skin glue and let it sit there for a few minutes and then they'll just take it out. You can do that. Or another thing that you can do is you can put it on here dry and just take your rabbit skin glue and just saturate it. You want to make sure you really impregnate this material so there's enough glue for it to stick to the panel. So the first thing you want to do is load up your brush. And get a good coat of this on the panel. Take your material
Now that you have the top saturated with the glue, you want to flip this over. This is what I do. I flip it over and then I will staple the back. But I don't want this to get anything on it from the surface of uh, the table here. So what I do is I take a piece of wax paper and I will put it underneath this. Also stops the glue from getting into the table on the bottom and the panel starting to stick to that. So just So now that I have the back uh, all stapled and stretched there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some glue on the back. Again, I saturate in this. I'm going to go all around the sides too. I want it to stick and stretch everywhere. Okay, so now that this is all sized, we're going to put it aside and we're going to let it dry, and let, it, uh, let it air dry thoroughly. Um, I recommend at least a day, at least 24 hours before you move on to the next step, which would be a gesso thing. Um, don't try to speed up the drying process by using a blow dryer or anything like that because you run the risk of it cracking, the, the rabbit skin glue cracking. 